Hi, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to mainframe tutorial CICS part 9. So this is the continuation to my earlier video. That is we were discussing different ways of displaying a map. So the first was displaying a map manually. Now I would like to share, share you about how do we display through an application program. Okay. So now we know that CICS is a customer information control system, right? Uh, so mostly we would it, it is called as a command level language which consists of set of commands coded in procedure division that is as follows. Okay. So we start with exec CICS and we have set of commands coded uh, here and it ends with end exec. So, so it's always whenever you write a COBOL program, uh, if you want to call an a CICS command so you need to start with exec CICS and end with exec CICS and you have to write a set of commands in between this that's it so let's see uh, we would be require we would, will be getting a different kinds of requirements when you work on CICS programming so so based on the requirements I have categorized into four types uh, as follows that it might be uh, just uh, you want to display a message on the screen that it, it might be the one or receiving a message from user and uh, calculating on the back end and transferring back the data or uh, transferring a control program from one program to another program or initiating a transaction from the program so you have a COBOL program which is a COBOL program with CICS just you want to initiate the transactions from the program uh, you can do it so it is a better way so it may it, it will be very much useful so instead of manually uh, calling a transaction entering on screen so so this is the these are the four different ways or it might be many thing but I am mentioning uh, the, the four different ways of uh, using this so the above program the above are very important when we design a CSS program so we must take a decision on what type of program we are going to code so so you ha it's your it's your call or it's your decision so what type of program you want to code okay let's see a simple program to send a map so in order to uh, send a map so there are three steps involved uh, three steps involved for sending a simple map that is that we will be looking at how to display a map or I mean display a message to the user so here I don't have any map coded just through an a COBOL CSS program I want to display a message onto the online screen so how it is possible let's see so first uh, the, as I said there are three steps involved while working on this one is COBOL, code a COBOL program compile the program and uh, register the program and transactions in an online table so how do you how do we do just first step coding a program as usual identification division program ID and program ID is send message environment division data division working storage section uh, I'm declaring a variable called message where I'm storing a value as welcome to tutorial so in procedure division as I said so if you want to use an CICS command so it starts with exec CICS and end with and exec so so what I'm doing is I'm first I'm pointing a control control or placing a cursor onto the screen that is at the 19th position so it would be ex approximately at 12th row and 30th column so send control to the cursor at 19th position and uh, then what you do is uh, send from name so what do you want to send first you have placed a cursor position where you want to send the message now you have to send a message uh, which is stored in a variable called name and you know the length of it so you will be sending a um, name and length so and exec then return so after turning after uh, after sending a message to the after sending a message to the screen you need to return back so it occupies some resources so if in order to release that resources so uh, it, you have to place a return sense we all know that mainframe is very costly so we need to be very cautious about resource handling so it's we have we wrote a three commands exec CICS send control first you are sending a control that is cursor position onto the screen then you are sending a message and then you are returning back so 
This is a how we code a simple COBOL, pro, I mean COBOL CSS program for sending a message onto the online screen. So step two, compile the above program. So how do you, in order to compile the program, you might be having a JCL card uh, with the CICS libraries and everything. So this is the simple library which is uh, which is really fine or you might be ha you might be co using uh, your online uh, sorry you might be using a uh, different tools in order to compile the programs in your working on in real time when you're just started learning or you might be having an a uh, uh, terminal so where you where the by default it might he might have provided from utilities to compile this or the load libraries pointing to CIC here. so this is the typical one so where you will be giving your source library path and the member name of the source library the copy book if you are using any copy book in your program and uh, this is the copy library uh, that would be loaded that would be loaded uh, when you are using an, a map when you have a map coded or load library which codes the actual load library of the source program or the or your map uh, map load library that is the physical maps so register the program online so next step is to register the program online so how do you register it first you need to log off from your present screen log on to your CSS, CSS screen that is using the command using the transaction call system defined transaction call CESN log on then uh, CEDA defined program with your program name and a group so once you define this, once you type this command, just press and enter, then it shows the message defined successfully. If it is not displaying this message, uh, it looks like there is something problem. So in the same way, you have to install your program. So it says enter it and then message install successfully. So we are doing the same thing as we did for a map. As we did for a map set, so here it would be a map set name and a group name. Uh, instead of map set name, we are having a program name here, right? So if you are using a map set also here, if you are using your the own defined user defined map set, so before uh, before to the program, so you need to define your map uh, and install your map. Sorry, define your map set and uh, install your map set. So then next, uh, define your transaction. So I'm trying create. I'm trying to create my transaction. So this is transaction is zero one in the group, same group. So make be sure that you are defining all your program transaction maps and everything into your uh, same group. So message cobol uh, uh, program message program. I mean this transaction is associated to this particular program. So you have to define in this way. So message defined successful in the same way in order to install your transaction CEDA install transactions TR01 and group test that's that's it when you press enter it says install success so now it's a time to display a message on screen so now we have completed all the three steps that is coding in a program compiling the program and registering your program online online table so now it's time to display a message onto the screen. So you know that you have uh, defined the transaction with TR01. So once you enter onto the screen, just uh, on the left side of the corner of the screen, just type your TR01. Once you enter TR01 and press enter, so your transaction will search for the PPT and PCT table. That is PCT table. In PCT table, you will be having a transaction ID and it's associated with program and program and it's associated load library. So based on that load library, you are map. I mean, your message will be displayed on the screen. So this is the CIC screen where you want to display this thing. That's it. So your message is displayed onto the screen. So that's all for this today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would be coming up with more and more DA, more and more videos and uh, more dif different kinds of programs that we use. So as I said here, it may be a displaying a message to the user, might be a one kind of program or receiving a message from user, transferring a control from one program and how do we initiate a transaction from the program. So we would be seeing, we would be seeing uh, different kinds of programs and uh, what are the different uh, various things that would be happening into the CICS. So, Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you if you want to share, 
if you want to like or comment me kindly please uh, do this on a youtube channel i would be appreciated it so that i can based on your feedback i can improve if improve on these things so thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasant day